welcome to our Five on Five. Please welcome back Governor Kate Brown. Governor, good to see you. Hi, great thanks, to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So you were at South Medford this morning. Go uh, Panthers. Well done. <laughs> Ceremonially signing in the Student Success Act, which provides a historic $2 billion additional investment into Oregon's early education in K-12 schools. How soon will we see the effects of this legislation? Well, our Department of Education is already to work. They provided toolkits for school districts across the state. Uh, the bulk of the funding will come into effect in July of 2020, but I think uh, communities will start seeing the impacts immediately. We know, for example, that we have fully funded Ballot Measure 98, Career and Technical Education, so that every high school kid and every high school around the state of Oregon should have access to hands-on learning, career and technical education, uh, the opportunity to connect classroom to career, and make sure they graduate with the skills to compete in a global economy. So I am hoping we will see the impacts immediately. It was certainly an eventful session. Uh, you said, <laughs> to say the that least, is an thank understatement. you, right? All right, so you said you're not backing down on climate change after Democrats' cap and trade bill failed to garner enough support in the legislature. How does this end? Um, that is a great question, but I think it is so important. Uh, future generations will judge us not on the fact of global climate change, but what we've done to tackle it. And I will do everything in my power as governor to make sure that we reduce carbon emissions. Oregon can be a leader not only for the country, uh, but for the entire world. We are seeing right now the devastating impacts of climate change. Literally, the forests of the Amazon, which is truly the lungs of the world, are burning. It's absolutely critical that we take action and that we take action now. Will you be working with rural Oregon lawmakers uh, and, and businesses to find some common ground there? Absolutely. I think it's so important. Um, we know that the best policies in Oregon are developed by working across the aisle and around the state. I want to make sure that we move forward and tackle climate change in a way that ensures that our rural communities can thrive, uh, that our families across the state have access to good paying jobs. And so we're meeting with uh, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. We're making, meeting with businesses and certainly listening to folks about their concerns. Okay, we're gonna come back. We'll take a, we'll get into the Jordan Cove LNG project and pipeline. First, this commercial break, stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, you're here with Governor Kate Brown. Governor, you've yet to take a position on the Jordan Cove LNG project in Coos Bay and the accompanying gas pipeline through Southern Oregon. It'll bring in millions of tax dollars, but comes with environmental risk. Why have you not taken a position on this? Well, I think it's critically important that Oregonians know that the process is going to be fair and that every Oregonian, regardless of how he or she feels about the project, has an opportunity for their voice be, to be heard. My job as governor is to make sure that state regulations and state laws are being followed. That's the commitment I made to more Oregonians, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Do you anticipate in the future, as, as more is known, that you might choose a position? No. I think it's critically important that Oregonians are assured of a fair process, and that's exactly what I'm providing to Oregonians across the state. You can't run for re-election in 2022. We hear you are seriously considering <laughs> a run for the state Senate. Is that true? Uh, I am so honored to be serving as governor. I think this is one of the best jobs ever. Um, I had an opportunity to meet with President Carter uh, a year ago. At 94, he is still sharp as a tack. Even though he served as president, when I asked him what his favorite job was, he said being governor. I heartily agree. I love this job, and I look forward to making a difference in the lives of Oregonians for the next several years. I have to point out, you didn't deny it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I, I'm pretty clear I am not running for governor again, and I look forward to working with Oregonians to make Oregon the best place it can be. I don't know that it will include higher office. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll take, we'll come back to that next time you come in here. Uh, you appeared at a rally in Northeast Portland uh, to demand action on guns last week. Aside from what's happening, of course, in our U.S. Capitol, do you see the legislature looking at guns again next year? Well, I think it's critically important that Oregonians uh, be able to be free from gun violence, that every Oregonian has that right. And so I'm working with responsible gun owners, with organizations, with a mom's demand action to make sure that we are making incremental steps to ensure that we have common sense gun safety policies in Oregon. I was on the scene at the horrible shooting at UCC in October of 2015. 
I talked to the families. I saw the impact in the community. I want to make sure that this never happens again in Oregon, and I will do everything I can to ensure the safety of Oregonians, whether they are going to school, whether they are worshiping in synagogues, or whether they are uh, at the public uh, playground. Good to see you. Thanks for Good coming to see in. You. All right. Thanks. Stay with us. We'll be right back.